Joining me in the studio, we have TV presenter Gemma Forte. This week, a warm welcome back to all of the Gemma Forte. Welcome to the last episode in this series of the short film show. IVF sort of incredibly expensive, and there are people who've got money who will go through rounds and rounds and rounds, such as the huge desire to have a child. Now, moving on to something completely different, very shiny and extremely showbiz. We are experts when it comes to treatment. You cannot be serious! Oh, I've seen this. Has the dog died yet? <gasps> oh. This is the exclusive Morton Brown collection, especially for QVC. This set here, I would say, is warm, decadent and opulent. It's another bumper episode of London Go tonight. Which gives us a chance to plug uh, your book again, which is, is out now. What's it all about, this one? It's about a woman called Jennifer who's having a midlife crisis. She finds out what life would have been like if she'd stayed with three different men from her past. The idea is the hardest part, though. I think I agree. a good idea. Yeah. I agree. The stars of new Brit flick, What We Did On Our Holiday, talk about midges and nudism. Excellent. I did sleep in a zoo. It's not often you get to say that. Last Friday night, I took my kids to London Zoo and we slept in the bug house. Did you sleep? I slept for about 45 minutes. <laughs> we Smog, particularly, started off the campaign saying it's going to be absolutely wonderful, it's going to be economic heaven, and now he's saying we can steal ourselves, we're British, it we can see it through. Happened but it's yet. South and Harbour. And then little goggle box as well, bringing up the rear. Is yes. it the underdog? This is pretty incredible. I think it also begs the question that we keep going back to, should organ donation be an opt-out system? Because it's my last day, I've done that rather sort of crawly thing, I've bought some cakes for everybody. Oh, and this woman in Kensington <coughs> woke up and found a massive python on her bed. She woke up with a snake. Um, <laughs> I go and coach sort of 14 year olds, 16 year olds, and it's workshops on how to perform under pressure and how to focus, how to be successful. Don't move a muscle because there's still plenty of action to come.